Just for that, once you understand how to create a successful login feature to your Express application, let me show you how you can redirect the user to the different route when you successfully log in to your website. So what I'm going to do is instead of this successful login message, I'm going to redirect the user to the dashboard. So I'm going to just uncomment this statement and comment this statement. And I'm going to just create this file inside these views. So here I'm going to create a new file with the name dashboard.ejs. And let me just design this file. So I'm going to first add this header inside this file like this. And then I'm going to copy this footer, paste it down here. And inside this header and footer, I'm going to create a simple dashboard. So here I'm going to create a division tag with the class text center, then add center div and press tab. So this will add these both classes to this div. Just for that, I'm going to just add here margin top, margin top five, and then I'm going to specify ID login. Just down here, I'm going to specify div with the container class and specify width 25%, then specify border and padding by 5 and margin top 5. When I press tab, I'm going to have all these classes to this division tag. Just inside this division tag, I'm going to create h3 heading tag and specify welcome to express dashboard. Just out of this h3 heading tag, I'm going to create h5 heading tag and here I'm going to simply display EJS variable. So here I'm going to add EJS syntax like this and just specify equal to sign to display the variable and say locals dot user if we have value inside this user variable just display the user variable otherwise display user just down here i'm going to add anchor tag and say here logout and inside this href attribute i'm going to specify forward slash route and specify logout route now this is my simple dashboard now just save this file back to the route.js and change this path so as you know i have this route as a path so don't forget to specify here forward slash route so when we have the successful login it's going to create a new session with this username session variable and redirect the user to this dashboard so let me just create this dashboard route so just down here i'm going to create route for dashboard so here i'm going to say router dot get and to the guest request i'm going to specify path of the route so i'm going to say here dashboard and as a second argument, I'm going to specify request and response parameter. And inside this route, I'm going to specify if request dot session dot user, if the session is created and if we have value inside this user variable, just return the response. And I'm going to say here response dot render. And I'm going to just render the dashboard template. And then I'm going to specify the value for this user variable. So here I'm going to say user colon request dot session dot user and if we don't have this session variable in the else statement i'm going to specify response dot send in the parenthesis i'm going to specify unauthorized user save this file back to the project and reload it i'm going to just specify my email and password inside these input text boxes so i'm going to just copy this email and specify that in the email section and here i'm going to say admin one two three so i'm going to pass my password here and when I press submit, you can notice this will load the dashboard route and you will get the dashboard template as a result. You can notice you will have the username as well on dashboard. So when you specify correct username and password, you will successfully log in to your dashboard with your username. Now let me just back to my login page and here I'm going to specify admin at their gmail.com. But at this time, I'm going to just misspell this password. Here I'm going to say admin and press submit when i click on the submit button this will just return a response invalid username now here you can create a separate template for this invalid username response i'm going to leave everything as it is and just log into my dashboard with admin one two three when i press submit this will just log in me to my dashboard and create a session variable with the username admin at the rate gmail.com now let me show you how you can add the logout feature to this application so i'm going to just back to my editor and just down here just out of this dashboard right down here i'm going to create a command and just say here route for logout and here i'm going to call router dot get i'm going to call the get method and as a second argument i'm going to specify route path so in the single code specify forward slash and then specify logout so this is my route path for the logout feature 
Then I'm going to specify the callback function with request and response parameter. And inside this function, I'm going to just say request dot session dot destroy. So when I click on this logout anchor tag, I want to redirect the user to the logout route and destroy the session variable. So we can easily log out from the website. So here I'm going to say destroy. And here I'm going to specify a function, a callback function. So if there is any error, it will just return that error using this parameter. I'm going to just say here error and here I'm going to say if we have error in this error variable, I'm going to just console it using console.log. If you want, you can just send the response using response.send and in the else statement, if there is no error when we click on the logout, I'm going to say here response.render and I'm going to render my base file. So here in the single quote, I'm going to say base and I'm going to just specify here two variables. First is the title. As you know, in the header section, I have this title variable. So I'm going to specify the value to this title variable. So here I'm going to say express. And then I'm going to create another variable when we click on the logout button. And here I'm going to create another variable logout. So when we click on the logout, I want to display a message on the login page. So I'm going to create here a variable logout and say here logout successfully. Save the changes and just back to your base.ejs. And just after this spawn tag, Right down here, I'm going to just add EGS syntax. And here I'm going to say if locals dot logout. Inside this if statement, I'm going to print a message. But before I create here if statement, I'm going to just close it like this using the closing curly braces. So I'm going to create here if statement. If this condition return true, I want to execute this if statement. Otherwise, I don't want to do anything. So here in the if statement, I'm going to create a division tag with some classes. Here I'm going to add some bootstrap classes. Alert, alert, success. As well as I'm going to specify text center bootstrap class. I'm going to just create here a message log out successfully. Or if you want, if you don't want to specify here hard coded value, you can use this log out variable. So instead of this hard coded value, here I'm going to add ej syntax like this and specify here log out variable. So this will just print the logout variable value inside this if statement. Let me just back to my project and open the login page. So here I'm going to specify admin at the gmail.com and here I'm going to specify password admin123. When I click on the submit button, you can notice this will just redirect me to the dashboard. And when I click on the logout, I want to redirect the user to the login page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just back to the dashboard and here you can notice for the anchor tag, I'm going to specify href attribute route logout. So when I click on the anchor tag, this will just open the route logout route. And when the route is match, this will just execute this get request and render this login page. So I'm going to just back to my project and click on this logout button. When I click on this logout, you can notice this will just redirect me to the login page with this message logout successfully. You are not limited to only print this message inside this logout page. If you want, you can print this message down here or up here. That's upon you. So when you click on the logout button, this will successfully log out from your website and destroy the session variable. So you are not able to log in again with the same session ID. So I hope you understand how to create login and logout system using Express application. Next, we're going to create the Express middleware application.